Good day and welcome to the ProCon YouTube channel. My name is Anami. Today I'll be looking at how to place and edit walls in Sumo. Here I have an empty Sumo model. I just loaded in some materials in the input tables that we will be using for the walls that we'll be adding. Drawing in a structural wall in Sumo is quite easy. It's just like drawing in a line. The wall command can be found under the structure tab in the surface elements panel. As soon as I click on the walls command, you will see in the top left of my model space that it shows me the steps that I need to follow to create my walls and it shows in bold the step that I'm currently at. For walls, the steps are quite easy as there are only two. Select, line start and end. As soon as I click on my wall start point, you can see that the wall is drawn from its bottom. For the line end point, you can either select it with your mouse in the model space or you can type in the coordinates. Another way to select the endpoint is to use the tab button on your keyboard to type in the length and angle. For example, let's say I know that my wall should be 10 meters long at an angle of 30 degrees with my x-axis. So I'm going to select the origin again as my start point. Now you can see that the coordinates are highlighted in green. So I press tab on my keyboard until the wall length is highlighted. I then type in 10 and press enter. I press tab again until the angle is highlighted and then type in 30 and press enter. You will also see while you are in the wall command on the contextual ribbon, walls can only be added using straight lines. There is also a continue tick box. With this selected, a new wall will start automatically where you ended the last one. Let's quickly try this. A wall can be moved by selecting the wall by clicking on its outline and then in the contextual ribbon using the move command. You will see that all the editing options are also available in the contextual ribbon. The start and end point can also be changed by selecting the wall and then using the blue grip points at the bottom of the wall and placing them on their new position. The middle grip point can be used to move the whole wall. The wall height, thickness, mesh size and material can be edited in the properties of the wall. So, we can select the wall and let's make the wall height 4 meters with a 300 millimeter thickness. And you can see in the drop down that the materials listed in the input tables are also listed. We can also change things like wall color and name. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel.